What is up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be talking about abstractors, auditors, analyzers, people who use their medical terminology knowledge to make great money. Now, you probably read the title of this and thought, oh, okay, use your medical terminology skills to make the $30 an hour and this type of money. Can this be true? I'm going to get right into it and tell you all about this, everybody, because there are great job opportunities and one that I really want to focus on that is a remote job. So we're going to look at this job from Guthrie Clinic, Quality Assurance Abstractor Informatics. So you're probably thinking, what is an abstractor? An abstractor is someone who can take pertinent and useful information out and use it for either research purposes, a project, for clinical documentation and data review. So this particular job is going to be 43000 to 66000 a year. That's about $21 to $31 an hour if you're wondering about that calculation. And you're collecting specific data from medical records that have been um, put together, and you're looking at those particular guidelines. That's right, guidelines. So if you want to know all about guidelines, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But we're going to get into this type of job and what some of these job titles could be called in quality assurance. You're making sure the quality of the medical records are correct and that the quality of the information is valid and follows proper guidelines. If you're wondering, this is under health information management, health information technology, medical registries. It is a growing field. Notice on the right-hand side, it says bright outlook. That means that these jobs are going to expand and grow rapidly over the next couple of years. This has been updated as of 2023, and we're going to be updating this even further as time goes on and this becomes more comprehensive. So other job titles that have been reported are medical records analyst, medical records director. So if you have any type of medical records education or experience or part of your job is dealing with medical records, this could be the proper place for you. So you're going to be assigning certain diagnoses if you are a coder. Maybe you're evaluating or analyzing existing information that are, that's in the computer. Maybe you're managing certain clerical paperwork. Mainly resolving or clarifying codes or diagnoses or unclear information. In order for you to clarify codes, even if you're not a medical biller and coder, even if you're not a medical coder, you have to understand medical terminology. So medical terminology is really going to be that big thing that we're going to be talking about when it comes to this. Code data or other information, collect medical information from family members, communicate, look at databases and see what's stored. So these are going to be the different types of things that you're going to be doing as far as responsibilities. Clinical documentation improvement, and it even says other apprenticeships. If you have an apprenticeship in billing and coding or medical office, this abstraction type job is the perfect type of job for you to look for while you're in your apprenticeship or right after your apprenticeship. So I'm just going to search here in my state to see what types of jobs in the area, what types of salaries are going to be paying for this type of job. So remember, this is onetonline.org, and we're going to put in what these salaries are. Now, to start, you can see the median range across the board in the United States is $28 an hour for this type of job. And if you want to look at hourly wages, it's anywhere between uh, 20 all the way up to 30, 49, 64 in certain areas. It really does depend on the need. And if we're looking back at this job that we looked at earlier, this job is quality assurance abstractor. I'm going to go into a little bit of this job and what the responsibilities are. You're going to collect and record specific data elements for patient medical records based on an established criteria and guidelines. So they're going to give you the guidelines to follow, and you are going to make sure that you follow those guidelines. This data will be used to aggregate the database and improve the processes. You're going to perform data entry and clinical data systems. 
The only requirement for this is high school graduate and GED, minimum of one year of medical records or results reporting, or a unit clerk, anatomy and medical terminology, or completing cardiovascular terminology is preferable. So if you have a cardiovascular abstractor certificate and you've took anatomy and physiology and you're a biller and coder, or you're a medical assistant or even nursing, this would be a great opportunity for you. Equivalent to one year of proven experience in medical terminology, either in auditing, coding, abstracting, um, will have the complete basics for medical terminology. So what are you going to be doing? Abstracting clinical findings, uh, looking at guidelines, performing data entry, uh, looking at the accuracy of what's going on. You're going to maintain accuracy standards within six months of employment. So what that means is you're going to have six months to build up your accuracy in establishing these guidelines. So this is all about that quality data abstraction. If you have a little experience, you have medical certifications, you're a biller, a coder, a nurse, you're good with medical terminology. Maybe you've worked in wellness or physical therapy. Maybe you are a personal trainer and you're certified in anatomy and physiology. This really could be a great remote job. If you're looking for more activities on how abstraction works and looking at the whole idea of data, data validation, abstraction, and other jobs and careers, click this link right here at the end of this video.